In this video, we are going to look at how to balance a chemical equation using inspections method. I will cover the learning objective on how to write and balance chemical equation by inspections method. Inspections method is the method that we usually use to balance a chemical equation. So how to use inspections method to balance a chemical equation? So usually we start with the species that has most complicated chemical formula. So like in this example, the species that has most complicated chemical formula is methane. So we put one in front of methane because methane is the one that has more complicated chemical formula. Then we balance accordingly. So by putting one in front of methane means that we have one carbon and four hydrogen. One carbon and four hydrogen. So means that in front of tetrabromomethane, I need to put one to match the carbon on the reactant side one and also to match the carbon on the product side one. And then we move on to balance the hydrogen by putting one in front of methane we have four hydrogen so means that to balance the four hydrogen we need to put four in front of hbr so by putting four in front of hbr we have four hydrogen on the reagent side and also four hydrogen on the product side so now we can move on to balance bromine so bromine we have four in hbr so we also have four bromine in cbr4 so to make total of bromine eight on the product side so how to make eight bromine on the reagent side so by multiplying br2 with four then we'll have 8 bromine on the reagent side and also 8 bromine on the product side. Then we move on to look at second example. In the second example, can you see that the species with most complicated chemical formula is iron 3 oxide. So we put one in front of iron 3 oxide. So by putting one in front of iron 3 oxide means that now we have two iron on the product side so to balance it we just need to put two in front of iron then we'll have two iron on the reagent side and two iron on the product side so by putting one in front of iron three oxide just now we also have three oxygen so how to make three oxygens on the reagent side we just need to multiply the O2 by 3 over 2. Then we'll get 3 oxygens on the reagent side and also 3 oxygens on the product side. Then now we move on to look at the third example. So in the third example, can you see that aluminum chloride is the species that has the most complicated chemical formula? So we'll put one in front of aluminum chloride by putting one in front of aluminum chloride that means that we have one aluminum and three chlorine so to balance it so we can put one in front of aluminum so that we can have one aluminum on the reagent side and one aluminum on the product side and then we also need to put three in front of HCl because just now by putting one in front of aluminum chloride, we have three chlorine. So three chlorine on the product side. So to balance it, we need three chlorine on the reagent side. So by putting three in front of HCl, now we'll, we will have three hydrogen. So how to balance the three hydrogen? By multiplying H2 with 3 over 2. Then we will have 3 hydrogen on the reagent side and 3 hydrogen on the product side. We move on to the next example. So in the next example, can you see that calcium carbonate is the species with the 
most complicated chemical formula so we put one in front of calcium carbonate so by putting one in front of calcium carbonate we have one ca calcium one carbon and three oxygen so it means that in front of calcium chloride we need to put one so that we can balance calcium one on the reagent side one on the product side and then carbon we also have one okay so to balance it we put one in front of carbon dioxide so that we have one carbon on the reagent side one carbon on the product side and then just now in front of the calcium carbonate we put one so we have three oxygen so do we have three oxygen so we have two in carbon dioxide and also one in water so total we have three oxygens on the product side which is balanced with the three oxygens in the reagent side good then now we move on to balance hydrogen and also chlorine so on the product side hydrogen you have two and chlorine also two but on the reagent side we only have one and one so means that we need to put two in front of hcl so that we can balance the hydrogen and chlorine so now we move on to the next example i think this is the last one so in the last example can you see that the species with the most complicated chemical formula is propane so put one in, in front of propane so by putting one in front of propane we have three carbon and eight hydrogen so how to balance it so we need to put three in front of carbon dioxide so that we can balance the carbon three on the reagent side and three on the product side and then how about hydrogen so just now by putting one in front of propane we have eight hydrogen so to balance this we need to put four in front of water so that we can have eight hydrogen on the product side as well then we can balance the oxygen so on the product side we have three times two six oxygen from the carbon dioxide and also four oxygen from the water so to balance it we we need to multiply the O2 by 5 so that we have 10 oxygens on the reagent side and also 10 oxygens on the product side for further reading you might want to refer to brown's book page 128 to 131